Alrighty, Virgos, this is going to be your reading for April 8th through the 15th. Thank you guys so much for joining me back on my channel. We're going to jump straight into your messages for this week, okay, guys? If you guys would like a personal reading with me as well, or if you'd like to check out the extended version of this reading, all of that information will be in the description box. This week, my birthday is April 9th, so I am going to have a sale on there for you guys so that you guys can get some cool discounts. Um, so if you do want to check out my 30-minute and hour session discount, that is already posted on the site, okay, guys? So definitely make sure you check out the description box. I'm not going to keep pulling all these cards. I don't know why the cards are doing this, but whatever. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and tune into, <clears throat> let's tune into your energy, excuse me, guys. See what's popping from our Virgos. Alright, Virgos. Um, Alright, so... I feel like this week you guys are going to be standing up for yourself in the best way you know how. Um, definitely letting people know where they stand and what you will and won't allow. For some of you guys as well, what I will say, if you are traveling, please make sure you have the proper uh, paperwork and stuff for that so that you don't get any sort of like issues. Okay. Some of you guys are also considering um, starting like some sort of, what's the word? Out of work activity, like some sort of hobby. There you go. Starting some sort of hobby. Okay, this hobby could definitely be something that will make you money for some of you guys, okay? You may actually come into that realization after you start the hobby. But nonetheless, I feel like you guys are definitely um, getting to know someone. This person may not be a younger individual. For some of you guys, this person may be a little older than you. But you are getting to know this person. Um, and I feel as if you are like really up in the clouds with this person, okay? This person may be very sweet. Uh, this person may be very... They may dress good and they must, they might smell good too. But this person, um, as you're getting to know them, you also may be realizing that they're very spiritual or they may be very religious or they have certain practices that they like to follow. Again, they may be finding this out about you. Uh, this could be vice versa. But I am seeing also for some of you guys, like this is looking like a reunion more than anything. Yeah, okay. So for some of you guys, you have... A new person coming in this week that you're getting to know and then there's also somebody else trying to reunite with you so it looks like some of you guys have two suitors this week okay with this reunion that somebody is trying to come in and build uh this may be something that you've kind of had a strong foundation with or somebody you've had a strong foundation with for some time this may be a relationship built on some years or a relationship where you guys were actually married at one point or you guys actually knew you guys were just home to each other for some time. Okay, but yeah, this looks like a relationship that you guys were already stable in. So some of you guys are going to have to choose. All right, let's go ahead and see more of what's going on. Like I said, this is general, so... Don't take everything I say as your situation if it doesn't apply. You'll know. All right, so April 8th through the 15th for my Virgos, please. What's going on? What's going on April 8th through the 15th for my Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Virgos?
energy coming into this week. Last week's energy. The guidance. The focus. And the outcome. I'm going to move this over a little bit. There we go. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and talk about this. Uh, disclaimer, I did kind of say this in the other videos, but I'm not going to mention the signs too, too much in this video because it is very distracting throughout the reading and really hard for me to stay focused sometimes, okay? So let's go ahead and just get into it. You'll know if this is your situation, if the reading resonates with you. You don't have to know the sign, okay? Um... But yeah, let me go ahead and get into this. What I am seeing right off the bat, you guys are definitely trying to work on your body, your physique. A lot of you guys are taking the time to get your health in order here. Um, what I will say, um, when it comes to your health journey, it is an ever, ever flowing process. It's not something that you kind of, okay, well, I'm going to eat a pack of uh collard greens today or i'm gonna buy a bundle of cabbage or something and all my health issues are gonna go away or i'm gonna be healthy i'm gonna be skinty honey okay no that's not what's gonna happen here uh this health journey that you guys may be embarking on some of you guys this is gonna be in hmm this is gonna be A long-term journey that's the word um that's not the word I wanted to use but we'll just use that but moving past that I feel like you guys are gonna be trying to build the strength to possibly deal with someone who you have a lot of passion for um, who you may be having a lot of anxiety about as well this may be an Aries I'm just seeing it strongly that's the only reason why I'm throwing the sign out there uh, but I'm just seeing more of you guys being very fearful and also confused when it comes to the circumstances of this connection with this person um if it's not an aries i am seeing like i said this is somebody who you're passionate about this may be a fire sign just in general um and you may be anxious about taking a leap of faith with this situation because you may feel like there's some secrets here but moving forward i am seeing that um coming into this week you guys are trying to leave some things behind here after you've Came to some sort of realization after going through the motions of your emotions, okay? Um, some of you guys, this could be inner conflict here or actual conflict within your relationships or with somebody from your past that's still eating you up. You may be still having some regrets energetically and you may be wanting to slowly but surely put your foot back out there or put your feet back out there and see where things can go. But I am seeing just overall you guys are going to be taking the time out to walk away from things that don't make you happy for also some of you guys excuse me for some of you guys i am seeing that also if you did walk away from somebody for some time you may be realizing that you may have some sort of deep emotions for this person but you may just not be happy with what they have going on um as far as like what they're offering you or just energetically like how they make you feel sometimes they may be leaving you feeling bored or they just make you feel like it's just not enough but past position we do have the hierophant clarified by the death card and the four of cups again so in the past i feel as if there was some sort of marriage or relationship here that may have ended or for some of you guys uh transitioned whether that's like ended or got better okay the death card is always a tricky card but a relationship that ended a marriage that ended that you really weren't satisfied with to begin with okay you really weren't happy within it but i feel like you guys um see what's the crazy part is you guys weren't happy with the circumstance of the relationship but you guys both really cared about each other but i feel like that cycle did need to close out here okay but the guidance for this week is the Six of Wands. Clarifying the Six of Wands, we do have the Ten of Coins and the Emperor. So I feel like there is a chance for you guys to get a level of success here within a relationship with somebody who may be very business-minded, um, somebody who may be very much um, stubborn at times or very prideful. This may be 
somebody who you have kids with this may be the father of your kids for women um for men this may be somebody like i said very stubborn sometimes or very proud um or somebody who has their business together okay this may be a taurus or an aries but i feel like there is a chance for you guys to get success with this situation it definitely looks like it you guys just need to clear some things up here and get on the same page and also for some of you guys there needs to be more offered emotionally as well but what i am seeing here for the focus for you guys for this week we do have the judgment card clarified by the ten of coins and the sun card so you may be wanting to reconcile with someone or make a decision about a relationship that you're in. Um, this may be somebody who you want to get into a commitment with who, again, maybe you realize that, okay, I want to be with you and only you. For others of you, you may be like wanting to reconcile with someone because you feel like this person is going to bring you a sense of happiness. Um, or there's a chance for you guys to get a sense of happiness back into your relationship. But overall, I'm just seeing either you guys reconciling or making a decision on a relationship here. Okay. And making it concrete. But yeah, the outcome, we do have the ace of wands. So this is an opportunity to start new. This is an opportunity to see where things can go. And I feel like you guys acknowledge that the fact that there is an opportunity, but for some reason it may be stagnant or it may not um, be happening right away due to the fact that somebody, this may be you guys, um, you're still taking the time out to... contemplate like somebody's still contemplating on this i feel like there is like i said opportunities for you guys to get growth and to start something new but um it's just a matter of somebody actually coming forward here this may be somebody like i said this may be a taurus or somebody who you have kids with that you could slowly but surely make things right but for some reason it may be one-sided right now All right, so let's go ahead and see whoa, what's going on with the cross watcher. What's going on with my Virgo's cross watcher partner person in question for April 8th through the 15th, please. April 8th through the 15th. So I feel like this person, um, if you were married to this person, they're another earth sign. Um, regardless of the sign, if you guys were married, they want you to be more stable in the marriage or in the commitment, okay? Um, they feel like there's some things they really just don't like about you. I'm going to be honest, okay? Um, because I'm not in a relationship with you guys. I'm just here to give you guys guidance. But guys, there's some things they don't like about you guys as far as like maybe like some very bad thinking patterns that you may have that may cause you to lash out on them um they feel very stuck to this too like in not a healthy way more of like okay i have to be around for some of you guys okay especially if you guys have kids i'm seeing that they feel like they have to be around um and for some of you guys that also opens the opportunity for you guys to have sex as well that's only going to resonate if that's something that happens but um yeah, if you were just in a relationship with someone, I'm just seeing where there is a transition here taking place. They feel as if, yeah, right now they just want to work on what they have going on or they feel like you may be working on other things or other things that are more important to you. So that's why they want to keep it stagnant. But they really want things to be cleared up. Like they've just been very confused when it comes to this connection. Um, and they really want to express how they feel. So it's very confusing how this person is feeling right now. Um, I feel like this person just feels like your focus is not on them. Or again, their focus may not be on you right now because they're trying to maybe forget you. But at the same time, it's like they can't. So we're going to finish up or we're going to clear up the rest of this reading on the other side if you do want to check that out please make sure you do hit that link below on patreon and i will see you guys in your next reading bye virgos